Okay, guys, so a lot of people have been asking us lately how to gain your own sheets that you could submit um, for a transfer. So let me show you how to do that. So um, I use Photoshop, but if you don't have Photoshop and you want to use Canva, this is what you do. Uh, make sure you have Canva Pro. So you want to go to create a blank. Once you're in there, you want to resize to inches. Ours go to a 22 by 12. Okay, so the width is 22 and the height is 12. All right, it will resize it for you. And once you're in here, this is the box that you have to work with, okay? So let me put in some designs that I have. So maybe I want to do this football one right here that we're running this week. So this right here by size is not very big. Remember, this is a 22 by 12. So when you start, start to expand it, you could see how big it is. Now, the only issue is, did you see this right here? That's dead space. So if you want to know exactly what size it is, you need to take these little guides and pull it in. All right, so you know the exact size. So as I go to expand this now, I know that this is a 12.5 in width, which is pretty big. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to go, I usually go 11 and a half with, um, with adults. And then I am going to, oops, not that. I'm going to take it and I'm going to rotate it so I can get even more in if I can. All right, so you want to make it straight. I'm going to bring it down. I like to use the arrow button. And then I'm going to take it and copy it and bring it above. All right, so right there is a design, make sure they're not touching, that is ready to go. But you have some space right here. So if you wanted to, you could take that same one and bring it down to pockets, which is, um, actually, let's take this off because we've already sized this down some right here. Control C, Control V. And I want to turn this into pockets. So I want to take it down to like a three and a half by a three and a half, or with at least three and a half. Oops, so there it was. So then I'm gonna take this same thing and I'm gonna put it over here and uh, give me a couple pockets on here. And that is how you make a gang sheet, guys. Um, I know a lot of people have been really wanting to know, you know how to do this um, besides in our tool, because you can make them in our tool, but if you wanna use Canva, you can. So what I would do now is I would go to share. I would go to download transparent background you have to pick this all right download then i'm going to save as i'm just going to call this a gang sheet or a gang sheet one and then i'm going to go to our website which is www Inkwell transfers. Dot com. All right, so whoop. Inkwell t-shirts dot com. You could go t-shirts transfers. It doesn't matter. All right, so once you're into our website, you scroll down. It says right here, make your own custom green print. So I open it up. And then I want to pick either a 22 by 12 or 12 by 12. I made 22 by 12, so I'm going to open it here. Um, the cool thing about our tool is if you're doing white art, you could click a background background if you're going to change it to black or gray. I'm just going to keep white, create a custom green print. And then once I'm here, I'm just going to upload my file. Browse. Desktop. Sorry, guys. I always have a ton of files. Here's my gang sheet right here. And this is what it looks like on my page. Um, notice it has a little bit of space left. Oops. But um, you can't really do much more than that because um, this would be to resize it. I don't need to resize mine. Um, so I'm just gonna reset it. That's if I need to crop it, but I don't need to crop mine at all. 
So I'm just going to go to continue. So it brought it in and I'm going to resize it in this box. And that is how you do that. Now, pixelation should be fine every once in a while. Uh, depending on the art, it can be a little bit touchy. So make sure your art is really good as far as quality. And then all you do is add to cart and send it to us. So I hope that helps with making game sheets in Canva.